because it is Fourth of July weekend. Uh, we are now a day away from official like practices to begin. But did you see the? I know we talked. We touched on it in the warm-up show about Garrett Cole throwing a hundred. Blah 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 blah. Did you see the video though of him working out at Yankee Stadium and throwing to Aaron Judge? I think Aaron Hicks was in there too. It looks awesome, and it, it's got the feel of baseball actually coming back. I don't know if you saw it or not, uh, but it looks really cool. And the fact that he's throwing upper 90s, 100, this notion that, you know, to get amped up to do your job, to me, is a joke. These guys are baseball players, and for much of their lives, they played high school games, little league games, even college games, where, let's be honest, no one went to them. And so I understand the idea of wanting to pitch in front of 50,000 people, but I think a guy like this, who clearly has kept himself in baseball shape, had a throwing program during this pandemic, this guy's going to be electric when the season begins. And the video yesterday, I thought it was just really cool. You really get the sense that we're very close to actual baseball coming soon. Do you think any of these guys who play Major League Baseball now were terrible in Little League? Terrible, no. Terrible. Do like, I like, think hit their like, stride later? Yes. Like someone's going right now, you know, I played Little League with Garrett Cole. He was terrible. I don't know that terrible. Could I see a kid, though, that really wasn't into it until maybe he was 10 or 11? Absolutely. I mean, there are, there are stories um, specifically, and only because, you know, I, I do the Rutgers basketball broadcasts. There are many stories, and I'd have to go back and look at all my charts and research that I've done, where guys didn't start playing basketball until they were 12 years old, and here they are at 19 on full scholarship at a Big Ten program. I think... Depending upon what your upbringing is, I don't know about terrible, but I could certainly see guys not picking up or becoming that next level athlete until they might have been 10 or 11 or even 12 years old. That is possible. I know. Here's what I don't think. I don't think there are any baseball players in Major League Baseball that were the Al Dukes of their Little League that won a full season without one base hit. I batted zero the one one year, Jerry, but I was zero. a terrific fielder. Well, I understand, but you had no base hits in probably a 14-game season. Right. None. Yeah, I had no hits uh, the one year in particular. I did hit the ball. It doesn't count. Sometimes, Jerry, they probably they probably put the shift on me, which is why I didn't get many hits. <laughs> no one did the shift in 1981. <laughs> you got hit them where they ain't. <laughs> I don't think so. So did the Yankees do a split situation here where some guys worked out at Yankee Stadium, some guys were at that Don Bosco prep in uh, Ramsey, New Jersey? Well, that's what I saw some like. of that, too. Well, you got to remember, too, with spring training, you've got a lot of pitchers that need to get their programs in. So it makes sense to me that it's not all taking place in one facility. And I don't know... It's a brand-new ballpark. I'm sure they have amazing facilities underneath the stands, but I don't know exactly what they have. I remember, was it years back when Craig did the whole uh, batting practice thing against Mariano Rivera? Wasn't that in the batting cage at the stadium, I think? I think so. Uh, and I think most of these new ballparks have facilities indoors, but I do think it's a matter of how many mounds do you have, what kind of work guys got to get in. So it does make sense if guys were at Don Bosco yesterday that they're utilizing other facilities. does not surprise me, I would say that. A lot of work that has to get done because you've only got today's July 3rd and opening day is 20. Think about this. Opening day for the Yankees, if indeed it's the Nationals, would have been three weeks from last night. Oh, they haven't announced this yet, Yankees Nationals? I don't think thing. so. I don't think the schedule has been announced. I think it's been uh, it's been reported that it'll be Nationals-Yankees in Washington on July 23rd, which is where all that Cole Scherzer talk came yeah. from. Yeah. But I don't think if I go to MLB.com, I don't think there's a schedule out yet. I haven't seen one. All right. Clearly you haven't. I haven't, Jerry. Right. So I saw a headline, but that was as far as I got. If I look uh, MLB.com slash Google it. I, well, I am not Googling it. No. I'm MLBing it because I'm going right to the source. Uh, yeah, I have nothing. Right now, if you go to MLB.com and you go to the schedule, they have Friday, July 3rd schedule of the postponements. And the Mets today would be at home against the San Francisco Giants. How about how that? Come, how come I didn't see any Mets working out? How come I didn't see Jacob DeGrom throwing fastballs like I saw Garrett Cole? Maybe they didn't cover it the way they cover the Yankees. I don't know. So, yeah, you'd have today you'd have Yankees in Toronto against the Blue Jays. And I'm sorry, Mets-Giants was last night. You'd have Mets-Padres today at Citi Field. If this was a real season. Yeah, and that's that's what's on the MLB site. So nothing's official. They have not released anything yet. But we're working towards it. And while I thought Yankees-Mets, DeGrom-Cole would have been spectacular to open the season, Cole Scherzer's not too bad either. And I saw Hal Steinbrenner. I think he was on the Meredith Morakovitz podcast. Or yeah, some, some, probably something that they're doing now. Sure. Uh, he's saying that uh, that he's going to that he expects to see some Yankee fans in the stands this year, Jerry. I agree. I think we will too. As we have covered earlier, if you're just joining us on TV, we covered in the warm-up show. I do think that we'll see 
10 to 20 percent fans in the building. I think at some point within whether it's within the 60 games or playoffs, I think you will see as long as the numbers of coronavirus stay where they are, they stay flat and they don't spike here in the area. I think we could see five to 10,000 fans of the Yankee game. I do. And City Field for the Mets. I absolutely think that's possible. Will they still serve sushi down below? Or is that out? I would think that would be out. Well, so, all right. All sushi? Now, I saw last week, based on that, which is why I'm going to say no. So I saw Borgata was getting set to open on Monday. Yeah. And I got the email about it, all excited, book a room, we're back, blah, 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 blah. And then I just saw yesterday that Borgata decided we're not going to open because of the restrictions. A, I don't think they were able to serve drinks. B, I don't think they were able to serve food. Uh, And C, I don't think smoking was allowed anywhere in the building, (laughs) which I know most people would probably love. But... If that's the case, and if you have restrictions like that, like you can't serve food and you can't do things of that nature, I don't think the sushi bar is going to be open for everybody to just grab and take. Yeah, I did see that Atlantic City. They're like, oh, yeah, no, the casinos can open, but you uh, there, you cannot dine indoors. So if you want to get something to eat, you have to go outside. Uh, you cannot smoke, which casino people love to cig- smoke their cigs. Love to smoke, yes. They love their cigarettes. Yes. Uh, you cannot have alcohol on the f- casino floor, which right. that didn't make any sense to me. Why not? Well, I thought if you, like I understand the whole idea of the glasses and the mixed drinks and all that, but why not allow them to serve package goods? 